Hello and welcome to this player review guys with me your boy FIFA 1 HD where we'll be taking a look at the team of the season 93 rated Raheem Sterling card. Now before we do as always if you do enjoy the video please remember to hit the hell out of that like button as that will really help me out and if you have any questions on Sterling or FIFA 18 in general then ask away in the comments as I'll be happy to answer those for you. So as you can see with his attribute details, he is pretty much as quick as it gets. 98 pace overall, made up of 99 acceleration and 96 sprint speed. This guy is ridiculously quick and feels it. He is so, so good in game with that stat. And what I love about him is that his dribbling column is so, so good and equally matches that. So he can dribble at speed. With 99 agility and balance, then you throw in the fact that he's got 94 ball control and 96 dribbling, means that he really can carry the ball at speed perfectly well, getting him into areas where he can then use his incredible shooting, 99 on the attack positioning, 96 on the finishing with 90 shot power, 92 long shots, and also decent-ish volleys there at 78 with penalties at 83. His passing also feels equally as good with 89 vision, crossing there at 86, Six, short passing at 96 which is very OP with decent ish long passing and curve there as you can see his defending also really doesn't come into the equation too much although his stand tackle and slide tackle are okay meaning that he can throw in the odd tackle here and there jumping and heading accuracy is definitely not his game but he does have incredible stamina meaning that he'll keep going well into the latter stages of the game and he's actually got decent strength which is quite surprising at 83 especially when you throw in the fact that he's also got the 99 agility and balance means that he is very very difficult to knock off the ball so we've seen the attribute details guys now we're going to have a look at some in-game footage and hear what I thought about him. So my thoughts on the 93 rated Raheem Sterling card were that he was exceptional. I loved the fact that he was so quick but what really impressed me was his dribbling. It's always been good don't get me wrong whether you've been using his standard gold card or any of the cards in between but this one really does take things to a new level. He is incredible at keeping the ball close to his feet. Even on occasions where you feel like he should be tackled, he still seems to come out with the ball. And that's why this card feels so damn special. He's also got incredible shooting, very accurate with his shooting, which he hasn't always had on some of his other informed cards. He will score a ton of goals. As you will see in these clips in game, he was very accurate for me, scored some absolute curlers into the top corner, some great power, lovely one-on-ones where he's done amazing dribbles before. I really thought this card was exceptional. Obviously, the right wing element will put some people off as everyone loved the fact that you could use his previous in form down the middle, making him very, very overpowered. But let me tell you, this guy at right wing will still get tons of opportunity to cut inside and score a lot of goals. I would probably advise playing him either at right wing or right forward. You definitely don't want to waste this guy at right midfield as he will be too deep in my opinion. Overall, in terms of his gameplay, he was just exceptional. He rarely put a foot wrong. His pace was lightning quick, which you'd expect. His dribbling was superb and definitely the best thing about this card. It is very difficult for even the best opponents you'll come up against to get the ball off this guy. And that is why I love Sterling. Dribbling was just so OP. And that combined with his incredible pace meant that he got himself in time and time again. He also had really good attack positioning as we saw earlier, meaning that he made some incredible runs. He was able to be found time and time again, got into really good areas and then finished superbly well. I was really impressed with the overall experience. He scored so many goals for me. He was also really good at linking up the play. But just getting the team moving and being able to go past people with such ease, even without using any real skill moves, which he does have in the locker too, I just thought this guy was incredible. There are a few cons on the card. Obviously, his free kicks, his curves, his volleys could be a touch better. But overall, he delivers a very enjoyable experience. Great pace, his agility and balance being so high, mixed in with the fact that he's got really good dribbling and ball control, means that he's incredibly fun to use. Then you throw in the fact that he's got really good finishing and attack positioning, means that he also has that end product to his game, which I absolutely loved. That's why I've given him a really strong 9.8 out of 10, because for the value that this card represents, being a really good team of the season card that you can link in with loads of players, and the fact that he's so fun to use in game means that he really did deserve that high rating. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe and peace.